One positive thing to point out to a business looking to invest in environmental liability insurance is that the environmental liability insurance for over 90% of businesses is a critical component of a sustainable business strategy. At the very minimum, investing in an environmental liability insurance policy shows a business has a financial assurance plan to address an adverse environmental exposure, including defense, cleanup, third-party bodily injury, third-party property damage, business interruption, and much more. Now we're going to explore some of the environmental insurance coverages available in the market. I'm often asked, why do we have environmental liability insurance? And my answer is, we have workers' compensation policies because the general liability policy excludes coverage. The reason we have commercial auto policies is because the general liability policy excludes coverage. And the reason we have pollution policies is, well, the general liability policy excludes coverage. So in basic terms, Environmental insurance policies fill in gaps in coverage created by exclusions in standard property and casualty insurance policies. Environmental insurance policies are also used to meet contractual obligations. I point out environmental strategists do not deal with or offer limited pollution policies because more often than not, limited pollution policies are designed as a mechanism to limit an insurance company's environmental exposure to loss versus offer value to the insured. That is why they use the term limited or a synonym for limited is sudden and accidental. I also want to point out that 98% of businesses in the United States are small business. Small business means fewer than 100 employees, and businesses with fewer than 100 employees do not have the financial resources to self-insure their environmental exposures. The irony is, overwhelmingly, the majority of businesses in the United States do not buy pollution liability insurance. Bottom line, the environmental insurance market offers huge upside opportunities to add real value to a sustainable business model. Most businesses just think of environmental liability insurance to address cleaning up a spill. But I feel it's important you explain to a business the three main benefits most businesses should look to environmental liability insurance for. First, they all come with defense coverage. Keep in mind that environmental liabilities are relatively new, and that means they can be very litigious. Even if a business does nothing wrong at all, they can still get named in a suit and have to expense defense costs such as legal fees, environmental investigations, lab reports, and so much more. Remember, if they're buying the environmental insurance to meet a contractual obligation, you should negotiate to have a separate defense limit. Second, Claims management. Just look to the Exxon Valdez, the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, the nuclear meltdown from the Japan earthquakes. When an environmental loss occurs, you can have the federal, state, and local governments, along with the press, pounding on your doors. Who's in charge of communications, public relations, emergency response, government compliance, financial management, third-party claims for bodily injury, property damage, natural resource damages, and the list goes on. What a business needs is a specialist in managing environmental losses, someone who can hold your hand and run Damage Control Central, and all environmental policies come with a specialist to assist in handling claims. Third, most of the time, the cost to clean up the spill, release, whatever the environmental problem, is far less than the claims that come in from third parties for bodily injury, property damage, and what I call the big black hole, third-party business income. Are you a contractor putting in a water main in downtown USA and you hit a gas line so they have to evacuate downtown USA while the environmental problem is resolved? The impacted businesses are going to want to be made financially whole for the interruption in their operations. You need to look at a business's neighbors that they can be impacting and if they or a subcontractor or a vendor cause an environmental loss. As an environmental strategist, you educate businesses on their environmental exposures, and once a business understands the environmental exposures impacting their operations and the value environmental liability insurance offers, they really only need to answer one question. Question is, does it make business sense to transfer their environmental exposures for fractions of a cent on the dollar to an insurance company, or wait until an environmental loss occurs and spend 100 cents on the dollar out of their own pocket for cleanup, third-party bodily injury, defense cost, third-party property damage, business interruption, and on and on and on.